whenever I'm doing anything, I'm outside my comfort zone because I'm always trying to do more than I'm capable of. I always kind of aim a little bit, I'll have a vision that's a little bit further afield than what I know I'm totally capable of. Um, but being in your comfort zone is fine. That's okay, like in, in, in the evening when you've accomplished your day, you've been productive, have your comfort zone then, you've earned that comfort zone. Sit down with your nice little meal, hot drink, whatever, movie, that's cool, but earn that. Don't sit there at the end of the day with your nice little meal and hot drink when you've done nothing prior to it. Make yourself earn those rewards. And I think that's a really a great way of, of living life in general is earn those moments. Uh, so comfort zones, earned, not owed. It definitely takes a certain mentality. Uh, I am way more inclined to be better working for myself than other people. Um, I work really well under people who I can learn from. I love that. But a lot of people are in job positions and, and placements where they're usually working underneath somebody that they know, I know more than you. And that, to be honest, that is a lot of the cases. Some of these people are just in a higher position because they've been in somewhere longer than the other people coming through. And that can be really frustrating. And that was what was frustrating for me, was when I was being told to do something by people who I was, I, I, I know I know more than you about this. And so for me, not having somebody looking over me, as much as it's, it's harder in terms of that self-motivation, because there's nobody there to tell you to do something, it frees me up to be as creative and do everything I want to do and do it my way. And that takes a certain type of mentality. And I'm not sure, let's be honest, I'm not sure if you can learn it, but I know that some people it's in them and that's the way they feel. And if that's the way you feel, chase it. Chase it, do what you need to do to give you the basis to be able to become your own boss. So I'm not saying quit your job now and just start doing that. No, you make inroads to getting to where you want to be, but you do what you need to do to get where you want to be. And that might be being sat in a job that you hate for another year. But just think that that one year could give you 20 years of doing what you want. So it, it's that give and take, everything's that yin and yang, a little bit of balance. And, but it's not easy, yeah, it's not easy at all. It is not easy, and, and when, when, the, when the lows are low, it, there's only you to pick yourself back up, which again comes back to that one, two, three, go mentality. Just that little reset, give you those little moments just to fire yourself back up. And realizing when you're down is a, another huge thing. Realizing when you're demotivated, realizing when you're tired, realizing when you're just being a bit soft. And having that little inner voice that goes, oi, you know, wake up, get up, one, two, three, go. But again, you can, you can either sit there and blame somebody else for something not happening, or you can just get on and try and work what you need to do because at the end of the day the YouTube's still going there it's still there every day it's still rocking on and I still have to be doing what I'm doing so let's just find another way and that's when I started going back to more things that I loved again and, and back to that side of me that I first started out with and that's the fighting the kind of the recovery and the changes in mental state that you can make on a daily basis to help you be more successful help you deal with problems when they come about so that's where I've evolved from so that's why I've gone from fitness just fitness really and lots of motivational kind of weightlifting videos too now much more lifestyle and i don't want to say like life coaching because i'm not a life coach but i just i just say what makes my days better and hope that you can take parts from it and integrate it into your day and feel the same thing issues are going to occur in your life but no matter what you do whether it's voluntary or involuntary it's going to happen so don't worry about it but we can deal with it and when we realize it and when you focus on it you can then control it like with your breathing when you suddenly pay attention to your breathing and you realize it's shallow, well, we can make it deeper and start creating that better, better mechanism. Same with day-to-day -day problems. When something arises and then you focus on the problem, you see what the, right, where's the error point, where can we change it so we don't do that again? And it's that kind of simple action. I know we live in a world where everyone's trying to make a buck from somebody else, but try and get out of that mentality. Money will come with natural success. Money comes alongside because you create more opportunities for yourself. If you're good and if you're true to what you're doing and you're good at what you're doing, opportunities will arise. But if all you're there to do is try and make money off the back of other people's problems, then you're living, you're already living in a negative cycle. That's not a good way of living. So um, yeah, money comes with success and success does not come with money. If you complain about something and never do anything to change what you're complaining about, you have no right to complain about that again. And that's a really simple way of looking at life that will really benefit you. Because if all you're doing is complaining, what are you changing? And so I do try and live like that a lot. I try and stop myself complaining and go more about changing.
sacrifice is uh, you get nowhere without sacrifice sacrifice and failure go hand in hand and sometimes time time is going to be one of your biggest sacrifices the amount of people who always say i don't have time to do this i don't have time to do that so they get into the gym and training all those guys that you've seen or girls that you've seen who have been successful in getting in the gym they didn't have three days to go and get to the gym they weren't gifted you know no job and just time to train at some point now i used to work two jobs and train and and fight all at the same time and all that happens is is you just get in get in the regimented mechanism of that becomes your day so find the time find the time there's also there's no fear of failure i don't mind failing i really like i would rather try and fail than not try at all and anyone who ever sees you successful i think this is a big thing with social media at the moment is people are only seeing the highlights of people's lives um and i'm trying to take that back a bit now um so i've started filming my content literally as of a few weeks ago in a bit more of a raw format because i want people to see listen it's not all pretty there's tough moments and i'm going to share those tough moments and i think i owe that to people who follow me in terms of they're following you for, for a lot of people get inspiration from who they follow that's why they're following people you know it motivates them and i think we owe them the reality of what they're following so that they not only just to show them that not everything's pretty all the time not everything's great all the time but also so they can relate more and feel okay like for somebody else if you're in a room with somebody and you, and you just tell people in the room i feel this way about something and 30 percent of that room go yeah i feel the same way immediately th that person's weight is lifted off their shoulders oh i am normal i there are people who feel the same as me and that little thing can go much much further than some 10 minute hollywood edit to try and make me look as good as I want to look, you know? I'd rather do the other thing. Uh, and I think that that is a, the mentality I'm trying to move forward with from, from this point. So, yeah, did that answer the question? I don't know if I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> you, can sit, you can sit now and be upset with what's happened, that, that the goal you set is either not turned out to be the way you wanted it to be, like I really thought I wanted to be a teacher, I really thought I wanted to get to that, and then I just could not get onto it, I think it's called PGC courses, there were just, there were, there were so many limitations to try and get onto it. And I, I did a load of positions where I went and substituted doing things voluntarily to get everything where it needed to be for me to get on these courses and just got knocked back, knocked back, knocked back. Just because of the, there were people with basic teaching degrees that were coming into these, onto these placement schemes instead. And rightly so, like they got priority, but to me, it was just like a constant punch back, punch back. So it was like, okay, what do we do in the meantime? And that's when I started actually uh, YouTube. So had that never happened to me, I could just be a teacher right now, living that life, but never have known this. And this world that I live in now is, yeah, it's a little bit sporadic and it, and it's, and it's, uh, it can be scary at times, but Jesus, it's fun, you know? And so it was, it's one of those of when something happens to you, at the, in that moment, it can seem like the biggest kick in the nuts. Like, it can devastate you. It can put you on your ass. But the fact is, sometimes the worst things that happen to you are the best things that could have happened to you because you find something else as a result. So that's why I'm never scared of failure because all it's doing is bouncing me back into the right direction of where I should be going anyway.